Step 1. Install the instrument. Hi everyone, today I'll be demonstrating how to install and set external radio mode. The first is the base installation part. This is the GNSS receiver, and this is the radio. Install the batteries in the GNSS receiver. The receiver has two interfaces. The left one is a 5-pin interface that connects to the external radio station and transmits differential data. The right interface is a USB data interface that connects to the computer and transmits data. The external radio has three interfaces. On the right is the power interface, connected to the 12V battery or external power supply. On the left is the UHF interface, connected to the radio antenna. At the other end is the 5-pin interface, which is connected to the GNSS receiver and receives differential data. This is a 5-pin cable. The interfaces at both ends are the same. Then use one end of this cable to connect to the host. Pay attention to the red dot of the cable aligning with the red dot of the interface. The other end of the cable connects to the radio. When connecting, pay attention to the red dot facing the red dot. This is the connecting rod, and this is the survey benchmark. Install the connecting rod and survey benchmark on the RTK. Then install the triangle base on the tripod. Install the base receiver on the tripod. and then hang the radio on the tripod. This is the transmitting antenna connector. The left interface is connected to the UHF interface of the radio, and the right base interface is connected to the antenna. Then we use one end of the transmitting antenna connector to connect the radio. The other end is connected to the antenna. And then connect the extension rod. The next step is to install the antenna on the tripod using a tribrac aluminum sheet. This is the power cable used to connect the external power supply and the external radio. Now we use one end of the power cable to connect the power interface of the external radio, red dot to red dot. Connect the other end of the cable to the external power supply, ensuring that the positive and negative poles are correctly connected to avoid equipment damage. To avoid interference, it is best to keep the antenna and base station at a distance from each other. Then recenter and level the base station if the equipment is installed at a known point. Measure and record the height from a known point to the base station, which will be used later when setting up the base station. Step 2. Set up base station. After everything is OK, power on the devices. Connect the GNSS receiver with controller via the NFC function. Click Base. Select the external radio for the data link. The difference between set by average and set by point 
is that when selecting set by average, the base station can be set up arbitrarily without being set up on a control point. Normally, the rover should go to the control point for site calibration to obtain the correct coordinates. When selecting set by point, the base station needs to be set up on the control point and the rover station can directly measure after receiving the differential signal from the base station and obtaining a fixed solution. As our base station is set up on the control point, we choose set by point here. Next, we set the target height. Here we choose slant S for the measure type. Then, enter the height value just measured. The coordinate point should be selected as NEZ or BLH based on the coordinate type of the known point. Then, enter the coordinates of the known point. We usually choose RTCM 3.2 for the correction here. The elevation mask value can be determined based on the base station environment. The default value is usually a good choice. Click Set Radio Param. Select High Target 19200 for the protocol. The difference between high power and low power is the range and signal strength of the radio signal. In high power mode, the range of the radio signal is wider and the signal is stronger. We usually choose high power. Click Set. Click Set again to complete the base station setup. The receiver signal light flashes to indicate that the base station is transmitting data to the external radio. The flashing TX slash RX lights on the external radio indicate that the radio signal is transmitting. The current frequency and protocol information of the radio can also be checked by viewing the screen information. Step 3. Set up rover station. After completing the base station setup, we next install the rover station. First install the battery and antenna on the rover. There are two antennas in the box. The longer one is a radio antenna, and the shorter one is a network antenna. We use the radio antenna to connect to the RTK here. Then install the RTK on the pole, and install the controller bracket. Install the controller to the controller bracket. Then turn on the GNSS receiver. Connect the GNSS receiver with the controller via the NFC function Click Rover. Select Internal UHF for the data link. The protocol and channel settings here should be the same as the previous base station settings. Select High Target 19200 for the protocol. Since the number of channels here is the same as that of the base station, there is no need to change it. Click Set. The rover station's flashing RTK signal light indicates successful reception of the differential signal from the base station. After the instrument reaches the fixed solution state, the measurement operation can be started.